What is up all you beautiful people and welcome to my new pad. That's right, I have graduated from my parents' basement, but I have not graduated from my silly 12 year old sense of humor. That's what this project is about. It is an idea that came about while I was working on the finger guns project. I was thinking about something I could do with these fingers other than finger guns. And I had an idea that just had me laughing at my desk because it was a little bit ridiculous. It was kind of silly, but it's also funny and has a, I think a cool message. So without further ado, I'm Jay. This is JBV Creative. Let's create. Everything is designed and ready for 3D printing. We're gonna be doing everything in brass and 3D printed parts. I just figured out how to make a really sick 3D printing time lapse, so let's hop into that and then I'll see you on the other side. How sick was that time lapse? I'm so pumped that I can do that now. If you wanna know more about how I did that, let me know below and maybe I will make a video explaining the process. All right, so I was going to make a build montage, but I realized that I've done that in every single video and I don't really explain my process. So I'm gonna give you a little bit more of an explanation as to what I did this time. It started like this. I ordered some parts from McMaster, paid way too much for them, bought a new tool, did some measuring, did some marking, and then got that new tool out and started cutting. Realized it wasn't working, tried a new method, still wasn't working, tried another new method, realized it's still not working, big waste for that new tool, I had to pull out the Dremel. Safety first. So after the parts were cut, it was time to start doing some assembly. So I started snapping some pieces together, sliding pieces onto other pieces, snapping some more pieces together. The beauty of designing for printing is that you can design however you want to make things and so I made it so my assembly was really easy to do. Super glued some parts together so nothing was sliding around. You know, never have too much super glue. Did some drilling, tapped some axles into holes and then screwed some parts to other parts. So now it's time to put together the main swivel assembly. So I tried a couple times, did some finagling, did some wiggling, some twisting realized pretty quickly that this method was not going to work. So that's when I had to unscrew some parts that I already screwed in, try a different method entirely, did some more finagling, some tapping with the hammer. Luckily it worked this time, so I was able to screw the parts back in to the parts that I had previously unscrewed. So now it's time to do some electrical engineering. Got my notebook out and started drawing a schematic. Really worked hard, used all my brain power to figure out how to connect these four components. But I figured it out and it was time to start doing some soldering. So after inhaling some solder fumes, I snapped the motor into place and started feeding wires through the internal routing system that I designed like an idiot. What, what were you thinking? Anyways, I really had to dig deep into my 12 year old self and pull out my operation game skills. And so I was able to fish the wire out. Last minute, I decided to make a quick modification, so I had to do some filing into 12 hour parts. It all worked out okay. Put the wires into place, put the last mechanical component together, gave it a little test to make sure that it worked, and then it was time to put the final touches on. So, small bit of hammering, slid the hands on super easily, and boom, just like that, the piece was done. All right, you got me. It never goes that smoothly. This is how it actually went. So I realized the parts weren't going to fit and all I could do really was just drill the holes out and keep trying. So I pulled these massive drill bits out and drilling into 3D printed parts. A lot could go wrong, but luckily not much went wrong here. I was really careful, did some hammering and tried again to slide the hands on. Didn't work. That was when I realized I had to do some more drilling Started making some progress, made some funny faces, drilled out the other side. Did not want to screw these things up because they took eight hours to print and did not want to have to wait another eight hours to put this thing together. Unscrewed, made some adjustments. I actually had to hot glue the hands into place, but you guys don't need to know that. And that's when I was finally done. That's when it was time for the happy dance. Check this thing out. 
I'm pumped with how this thing turned out. The brass and the white 3D print, it looks amazing together. And it does work, but I'm not gonna show you it working yet because I'm waiting for one finishing touch. And while I'm here waiting impatiently and it's killing me, you guys get the added benefit of not having to wait at all. Yo, they're ready? Yes, I'm on my way. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. It's so silly and it's funny because about three days into this, I had found an artist on Instagram, David Nevels, and he actually had a very similar piece. So respects to him, we have the same sense of humor. Respects. 12 year old me would have found this hilarious, but 30 year old me understands that there's a lot more to it because this topic is taboo in our society. And I just think that everyone should be able to do whatever the fuck they want. So on that note, everyone enjoy your weekend and I'll see you in the next video.